Welcome back to Offroad Outlaws, guys, and today we are going to be building a vehicle that I haven't touched yet, and that is the Toyota Hilux. Now, obviously, we're looking at my massive Chevy here, and that is not what we're going to be focusing on in today's video. Rather, we are going to be focusing on, like I said before, our Toyota Hilux. Now, we've got to buy one, we've got to build it up, and we've got to see what it can do. Now, I have never touched one of these before in this game. This is my very first time actually messing around with a Toyota Hilux. And so, we're going to build everything all the way up everything all the way out maxed out grip weight durability absolutely everything i think i'm gonna diesel swap it as well because in you know in europe and some other areas they all got these trucks available like these trucks were all available as a diesel we just didn't get the equivalent toyota truck or later on tacoma as it was called in the states so I'm, I, and I always wished that we got one, but we never really did, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything at it, full turbo build, absolutely everything, the torque is gonna be nuts, and now we're gonna go ahead and throw a few upgrades on it that are gonna be a little bit more performance focused, so we're gonna swap the suspension over to... Not actually, you know what? I was going to do a monster suspension, but I think I'm going to do heavy duty solid axle pro. And the reason why I'm going to do heavy duty solid axle pro is because I don't want everything I build to be just a monster truck. This is going to be a crawler. This is going to be a trail truck. So now that that's all done and installed, we're going to go ahead and tune the suspension and obviously build everything all the way out, get it all done. And I think I'm going to go ahead and, well, you know what? I'm going to handle the front first. So axis width, I'm probably going to set it at sort of an in-between right now. Probably at about, at about 0 0.8. We're going we're gonna to have to do a couple of other things first. But, like, once we do a couple of other things, we'll see if that's going to actually work for us. So it's actually got a little bit of an interesting rake to it. I'm not sure if I care for that, but all right. Now, I do want the truck to be a little bit more level. So I'm going to go back to the front. And now for travel... Should I go max? I'm probably going to have to go max. However, rear, I'm actually going to zoom out just a bit so I can see the side profile. Now, that's going to be a bit of a weird rake, so I'm going to put it at 0.57. Now, obviously, it looks really goofy right now because of the tire size, but that's okay. We can, we can sort that out a little bit later. Axle type. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I was like, axle type? What do you mean? Now, I always I always get confused by that, and I don't know why. Now, obviously, we could do a little bit more mm, with the damping. I'm going to make it actually a little softer in the front, because, oh my god. Okay, yeah. Make it a little bit softer in the front. I don't know if that's going to be bad or good for what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more compliant, because... These trucks can be a little bit bouncy when you first build them. Now, wheel and tire-wise, I'm going to just max everything out in terms of capability to stage 5. And then, radius-wise, make sure we're in the front. Let's do a 0.13. And then a 0.15. And then on the rear, we'll also do a 0.13 and a 0.15. But... I'm debating on whether or not I want to go wider. And I think that's actually a really good balanced size. Like a really well-balanced size, a really well-balanced look. And I like the way it turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and do a perfect setup on it. And run the dyno and see what it will give me. Alright, so we ended up with 1,186 foot-pounds of torque and 705 horsepower max. So that's actually really good, and that's a lot more than I was expecting. It's going to be really peppy in a small truck like this. So now it's on to the more visual side of things. And of course, there are a few different things that we can do. Uh, one of them is going to be tires, and that's not just visual. That is performance-related. So we're going to go ahead and do the wheel and tire package first. Now, I'm probably going to stick with something a little bit more simple on this truck. I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm actually going to go with these, but I'm going to beadlock them. And the reason why I'm going to go with these is because I want this truck to have that rugged look and that rugged feel. Now, spoke color-wise, I'm thinking about going with more of, yeah, I think a white wheel. And the beadlocks are going to be color-matched to whatever I end up painting the truck. So I'm going to come back and do that. So truck paint-wise, we could do a white one. We could do... It's kind of like a bluish purple. 
custom color. Um, kind of want to go through and just see it. Oh, God. That is bright. But you know what? I don't dislike it. You know what I mean? I don't dislike it. I'm sure there's going to be people out there that are going to be like, why the heck did you paint it neon green? But, like, nobody else does that, at least for this truck. So, bead color. Oh, boy. Ultra bright neon green. And now I do know for a fact there's going to be somebody in the comments that's going to be like, it's a shade off and it doesn't match. Sorry if, like, my... Mm, sorry if my eyesight isn't, isn't ex as good because I'm trying to figure out exactly where that match is. And sometimes I get it, and sometimes I don't. That's close enough. Now, I could spend a long time in there fine-tuning the color, like, itself. But, like, uh, it does the job for right now. It definitely does the job. So, tire-wise, definitely not going to do a dually setup. That's not what we need. These are an amazing all-rounder tire that work really well on the rocks. So, that's what we're going to go with. And then body mods. Let's see. Front bumper I'm going to sort out first. I'm thinking of doing, hmm, yeah, that works for me. I know I use that on a lot of different rigs, but that works really well, I think, for my purposes. I really like the cut fender look. The cage we could do, uh, roof lights we could do. I, I want to keep the truck fairly simple. I don't want to overdo it. So let's see. Can we put that in the bed? We can put it in the bed. I'll put it in the bed. The bed, like, makes sense for it. And front lighting... I'll throw an LED bar up there. Throw a winch up there. Where's the jack go? Is that the only place it can go? Dang, really? Now, oh god. That is a weird place for a stack. I'll do a single hood stack because that is a weird place for a stack. And I'm not like... I don't know, bro. I'm not about that. I'm not about that, like, weird... It's like almost halfway back the bed. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Either way... Let's go ahead and apply these mods and then head out for a good test drive. Now, it looks like it's going to be a fun rig. It looks like it's going to be pretty capable. And I'm ready to see what it can do. Now, let's go ahead and take it to a simple map like Woodlands and just kind of get an overall idea, an all-round idea of how it does on the rocks, how it does in the mud, and how it does just driving around. Now, with 1,100 foot-pounds of torque, it should be quite a peppy little rig, especially because of the fact that it's light. Let's start in, in four-wheel drive with the diff lock up. It takes off quick! It is certainly not slow, that's for sure. Bit of a jump. Oh, God. All right, I can get behind this. Let's see how you do in the mud. And that's, dude, that's with no dip lock. That is with this thing just getting it. Just freaking going. No dip lock at all. Now, here's where it might, well, I was going to say, here's where it might need dip lock, but it didn't. It just drove right up and out of there. Can it jump the creek? Yes. Yes, it can. It has more than enough power and speed to jump the creek. And if you've been watching, like, any of my other Off-Road Outlaws videos, you'll know that I like to do that creek jump test. And it's just kind of a really easy way to determine a truck's acceleration limits. Let's do a little bit of rock crawling. Let's find some rock crawling to do. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's find a trail. Is this one going to be any good? Lock all the things. Oh, jeez. Gotta put a tree right in the way. Thanks, bud. Go, 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 go. Whoa, where are you going? getting it. Oh, God. I tried pulling the handbrake to whip it around, but I didn't have enough speed to do it. So the handbrake pull was pretty much worthless. This isn't really a trail. This is more of a race, but hey, truck did okay. Oh, you can bypass that, and it helps. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. Ow. Not bad. Not bad. All right. This little thing. How are we doing on damage? Not bad, actually. But we can repair. Yes. So we've got that done. 
it's a like it's a peppy little rig like i am genuinely impressed with it and i'm genuinely impressed with like how it does out here in the wild i mean whoa i think at the end of the day it'll definitely be one of those trucks that like if i want you know, a more realistic experience. It's definitely a truck I will look to. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like, you know, something super, super capable or something that's like at the top of my garage at all times, but it is a good little truck and I, I really don't have any complaints with it. And if you haven't built one yet, I definitely, definitely recommend building one. So if you guys enjoyed that video, then leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing and definitely consider clicking that notification bell to stay up to date when any new content goes live. See you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.